Hello and welcome to learn image processing using MATLAB for beginners. In this tutorial we look at the Fourier transform of a circle using MATLAB. Before designing filters in the frequency domain we have to remember that we prefer using filter operations in the frequency domain as convolution which is a computationally intensive process in the spatial domain is equivalent to a simple multiplication in the frequency domain. And since our Fourier transform gives an image with F00 value in the center and high frequency values radially away from the center, hence filters both the high pass and low pass can be created by creating a circle like filter in which one would allow values near center to pass that would be a low pass filter and others which would block the values near the center and they would be high pass filters. So let's realize them using MATLAB. So I create a mesh grid with coordinates ranging from minus 128 to 127 in both the x and y directions. Now we remember that z square is equal to x square plus y square is the formula for having a circle. So that is why I create a circle using this and I use a cutoff of 15 value. This would be my c. So let's see how it looks like. So this is the kind of image that I have with a radius less than 15. Now let's do the Fourier transform for this. So I will say CF is equal to FFT shift. I will shift this to the center and take the FFT like before. Again the same process which we did in the last class. Take the absolute value. Find out the max. Convert it into an unsigned integer. And this comes from the last class. So this is what I have. So you can see this is a ringing effect that we have. This is because we have a very sharp cutoff for this circle that we have because this was my original circle. Now if we try to smooth out this circle let's see I can take another value b is equal to I'll divide each and every element. So Let's see how this circle looks like. So you can see this is a smoothed kind of a circle that we have. If we apply the same functions on this. So let's take the Fourier transform of this value rather than the previous one. So I use B here instead. Take the log of this. Find the max again. And display this. So you can see this is how my filtering looks like. So once this is sorted we will use this in the next class. Thank you.